So I finally went down El Dorado Valley Road, and this is as far as you can drive before you hit the uh, private road sign up there. Zoom in. Which is almost to the end already anyway, so. And this right here drops you at uh, the Boulder Conservation Easement Road L. So we're gonna walk down that and then probably head off a little bit into the mountains. It's a pretty, uh, obviously you wanna park on the pavement or you know, just off the pavement here because this is a serious four by four road. It's pretty sandy, just rained here today, so. So I'm just going to walk down the road just a little bit here, I think less than, uh, see how much, less than a quarter mile, and I'm just going to turn right and head straight toward the mountains, and just avoid all the, uh, uh, you know, substation area and everything. So finally, proof that this uh, electromagnetic detector works, besides things that are already obvious, like your microwave, uh, here I am under some large power poles here, high voltage power lines, and this thing's pretty active, so I know it works. So I just happened to uh, cross the road where these old telegraph lines have fallen down. You can see the rest of the uh, lines up there, the wires are all hanging and everything. They're pretty common to see around town. My goal is heading toward those low-rise hills, or mountains, if you would, over that way. We'll see if we can make it there. So I reached uh, the end of the power lines here almost, and it looks like this is Route R over here, and it looks like it's supposedly closed for restoration. I guess you're supposed to take an alternate route over here, which takes you through to Prim if you went all the way, I guess, through the mountains. I think there's a mountain pass up there somewhere. But that's not my plan for today. We are heading straight out of here and straight to the nearest hill and see what we can find. So the uh, mountains are a little closer. I've reached the first low-lying black volcanic rock hill. Mountains are closer, they're a little more impressive, closer up. Uh, zoom in on that guy there. Looks like there's a little cave up on that one. Or just a little crack. So we're almost there. Just to pan over to where we came from. The car is way down there somewhere. So as we uh, get up just above 2,100 feet here, the Choyas have gotten way bigger. Almost a little forest of them over here. Quite nice and fuzzy. Quite a few of them. So we're almost to the entrance to these uh, two hills here. And we'll see what we see there. So we finally reached the entrance of the canyon. It's actually not bad. There's little, uh, little caves you can see up on the hill. And you've got this little mountainous area to explore here. So I'm going to take a look around and see what there is. I was trying to think of a name for the canyon. Maybe we'll call it Cleavage Canyon or something. This rock is split in two. So the canyon gets rough pretty quick with a lot of rocks, so I just walked around, found some random sheep bones and stuff, but around the distance I do see a decent uh, choya forest over there, so I might check that out. Oop, there they are. Looks like a nice cluster. Okay. Reach the Choya Forest. There's a little cluster down there, and 
and the bigger cluster, which I'm not gonna get that close to, it's not always a good idea. It's right here, pretty nice cluster. And the canyon here is actually much nicer too. You've got better views at the entrance. And a lot of random boulders strewn about. And the wash is much easier also to follow. It follows the main wash, you can go in just a little further, which I might do. So the choya here look like normal choya, but the ones in the forest are really fuzzy. And they're, looks like they're fruiting or previously flowered. Much fuzzier, much fuzzier. Forest and then regular choya. And I even saw some pencil choya along the way too. It's a choya tour. Okay, now the sun came out, finally got a better view of uh, the rest of the area. There's the main forest we went to. And then there's quite a bit of what looks like choya all along the hills there, see choya. So it's kind of a choya emporium. Look at it up there. Tons of it. All up the hill there.